How you doing guys? Uh, we're going to talk about um, broadcasting 4K and Wirecast. And this is actually a viewer question, uh, which I'm going to put on the screen. Uh, fortunately, I can't pronounce his name right, so I'm not going to attempt it. Um, but I put it on the screen for you. And he said he's had some trouble broadcasting in 4K. And usually when you broadcast, it will also put a recorded video. Um, and he's also stating that it's in 1080p and not 4K and, and so on. So we're going to discuss this. Now his camera is a Sony A7R 3 which I believe is a mirrorless camera, which is capable of recording in 4K and also exporting out through, I believe it's HDMI uh, cable as well. I checked that out too. Now before we get in to um, how to broadcast in 4K on Wirecast, and answer his question, I wanted to kind of talk to you about why um, is it really beneficial for you to broadcast in 4K for both yourself and your viewers because it also depends on your camera and where you're broadcasting to. For instance, if you broadcast in 4K somewhere um, and that's the only resolution, they only support one resolution at a time, is your viewer going to be able to watch in 4K? Is this computer powerful enough and bandwidth enough to watch it? You may be limiting the amount of viewers able to watch it. So another thing you should watch out for. And while your camera may be able to, able to record in 4K, does it mean it's able to output into Wirecast? Um, in this case, maybe HDMI or even SD. SDI, um, some are restricted to maybe 1080p, so something else you want to check out as well. Now, to answer his question in full, um, currently Wirecast does not support um, camera sources in 4K. It is restricted to 1080p. There are some workarounds, however, which I'm going to discuss. And one of it is you're able to um, take that 1080p and upres it to 4K and broadcast out. Now some people say this is cheating and eh, technically yes, but there are some distinct advantages over broadcasting in 1080p. Well, at least with um, uploading, upresing a 1080p and 4K to YouTube, you actually get a better, higher bandwidth and actually a better picture and a couple of people on YouTube have verified this and the person that I actually recommended this to said it indeed gives them better picture quality. Now, so you can take your 1080p um, signal into Wirecast, create a um, custom encoding preset and then you can broadcast out in 4K. And I'm gonna kind of show you this um, right now. Okay, um, so if you want to make a uh, encoder preset for your YouTube destination in Wirecast, um, I suggest you opening up the uh, YouTube uh, 1080p recommended section in encoder, and then we're going to change some settings. Um, you definitely want to go from main concept to uh, X264. Uh, it's going to be more uh, you're going to get, get more performance using the uh, X264 and obviously you're going to have to reset the uh, resolution to go to 4K which is uh, uh, 3840 by 2160 so we're going to go ahead and type that in and uh, that's the uh, width and then we're going to go to 2160 and then obviously you can uh, choose something like 30 um, or uh, 2997. Now if you go to 60, the settings are going to be different because you're going to need some more uh, bandwidth, but uh, we're not going to go into that. Now you might, oh yeah, let's go ahead and go into bit rates for the uh, minimum bit rate. It's going to be anywhere from uh, 13 to uh, 34 megabits per second. And uh, we'll just go ahead and do uh, 34. In this case, it's 34,000 kilobits per second to get the uh, 37 megabits per second right there. Now you might, since you're doing 4K, you may have to go from very fast encoding to super or even ultra fast um, if you're having problems 
uh, on the other end uh, uploading uh, it just enables the encoder to work faster now doing so I think it does use more computer resources so uh, if it works fine on, on the uh, very fast setting coding you should be fine and then obviously you would set this uh, save as and save it as a custom preset now that is only just but one solution that you can try in Wirecast. Like I said, there are some limitations. Uh, check with Wirecast in the future. Um, they may eventually support 4K sources for cameras too. And then as well as preset, 4K presets itself. Um, so currently there's another option uh, you might be willing to try is OBS Studio. Now I haven't thoroughly researched this. I don't have a 4K camera to test this with as well. Um, I'm pretty limited to 1080p, which is fine for me currently, as I can't up the 4K and some other things. Um, I've been here also researching this, and I think OBS Studio may support 4K camera sources. So OBS Studio is free to try and download and see if that will work for you. If it does, um, you can go in there and... Uh, upload to or, or excuse me broadcast up to YouTube or other places that support 4k um, uh, broadcast now keep in mind you might also have to uh, create a custom preset as well which I believe you can do in OBS studio as well so hopefully that will answer some questions uh, on uh, using Wirecast in uh, uh, 4k broadcast and perhaps for other um, uh, content uh, websites that you want to broadcast out to using various cameras and even uh, OBS Studio. So uh, thanks for watching and see you guys.